to Yu-Gi-Oh! here. My name is Michael, and I'm joined with Stefan. Yeah, I'm here. And I'm talking about, we're talking about the pros and cons of Master Duel. It's been out quite a while, and uh, we both have, you know, some thoughts on it. I know Stefan really likes it, and I like it too. It's some of the most fun I've had playing Yu-Gi-Oh! in a long time, is the first thing I'm going to admit. I have a lot of hours in it, but I don't get to play Yu-Gi-Oh! very much. And, you know, even when I play online, there's never anyone online on the other Yu-Gi-Oh! things. So, for me, it's a godsend because I can just play against people all day and, you know, have fun. Anyway. But it does need more things to do. Because even I've run out of things to do, and I work five days a week. So, all right, so... One of the cons, as Stefan said, is there's not a lot of things to do. There's literally grind rank and play against randoms and unranked. And if you haven't done solo mode, you know, you have solo mode. Which sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. Um, you run out of things to do that fat, like really, really fast and stuff like that. And even if you only get to play like a couple hours a day. Like maybe let's say like one like let's say like two three hours a day, you will breeze through this content. I breezed through solo mode and got the deck I wanted and stuff like that all for free without paying any money at that time. I paid money now, but uh, without spending any money at that time, and did almost all of it in under fifteen hours. Which is like, if you're only playing an hour a day, it's like 15 days. Which is not well, a lot. I think when I first started to play, I managed to do it almost that first night I had the deck I wanted to play. Oh, I did too, but I, like, but that's not the point. Alright, so, yeah. uh, so uh, my next point is uh, that I'm going to rant and rave about, and it drives me absolutely nuts as I'm going to go into deck creator, is why the hell can't I disassemble everything anything i anything like okay so if you don't know all right so uh one of the good things about master duel is you can dismantle cards you don't need and use card and then every three cards you don't need you can make it into a card you do need that's great that helps the whole uh inevitable system of you getting extra cards you're not going to use and cards you're not going to use the downside is when you win rank you get these stupid things, these stupid bonus packs that are absolutely terrible. They 99.9% .9 of the cards in there literally do nothing. And some of the, and most of the supers are just like vanillas and ultras are like vanilla monsters that are have no bearing whatsoever. And the worst part is you cannot dismantle them. For example, uh let's scroll down to the Despair Uranus. So, I cannot dismantle this card because I got it for free. But cards obtained from a structure deck or distributed cards cannot be, uh, you know, gotten rid of. I have an extra Gem Knight Topaz that I cannot dismantle because I got one of them from the Nostalgia Packs. And then the rest I got, the other three I got from doing the Gem Knight story. But because I got... The Gem Knight story one, I can't dismantle my extra Gem Knight Topaz. So that's another bad thing about this, is you can't dismantle all the cards that you don't want, and stuff like that. Uh, it's very, very frustrating, in my honest opinion. And it's just one of, like, the worst, uh, things that about, like, this whole, this system's economy. Yeah, no, that... Just one of the points I didn't really like was that, you know, I can't discard and, you know, I, I just can't destroy these cards I don't need, which there's quite a bit of them. All right, so my next uh, point is I'm going to bring attention to the dual pass and something, I'm going to talk the good and bad about the dual pass real quick. So the good is, I think that the rewards you get from the dual pass, if you buy the uh, gold setup to get the pot of greed thing, it's worth it. In my honest opinion, it's worth it to get it because the rewards will will bring you more. 
it will nickel and dime its way pretty much up uh, past uh, what you spent on it, and then some. And it gives you all these, like, ultra-rare stuff like that. That's the good thing. The bad thing about the dual pass is how many days, if you look, it has, how many days it has left before it refreshes or goes away. Do you know how long that is, Stefan? What, 70 days? 60 is what it says for me, but yeah. Do you understand how easy it is to get your dual pass from 1 to 100? That's literally like 40 games. 40, maybe 50 games. It usually goes up to, at least from when I play, it went up two or more every single one I played. Every yeah. single ranked game I played to completion. Whether I won or lost, it would still go up, usually. Yeah. If I did, as long as I didn't actually surrender and I played the game out. But it is ridiculous to say that 60 days is, uh, you know, that that's way too long. Um, like, I think that it, there, it would be reasonable, right, if it was 30 days, all right, I could get it. Because if it was like, oh, hey, uh, every 30 days, the dual pass, and, you know, even someone who works five days a week, and let's say they have a busy home life, and they only get to play, like, two, maybe three hours a day, they could probably still beat the dual pass in that time. Like, reasonably, I, d I don't think it's reasonable, I, I think it's reasonable to say, like, you could probably beat that. Oh, yeah. I like, even in the beginning, I was putting a few hours into it, and I think I ended up doing the dual pass, like, immediately leveled that thing up, I was like, oh, well, that's bad. I think another bad aspect of the game is the list. <laughs> yeah, um, that's a, that's a good segue, because the Forbidden Limited list... Uh, while I do think it, well, a lot of the aspects about it are really fun. Um, I there's so many problems with it as well. Like there's, I would, I really wish that we had the TCG list, the OCG list, and if people wanted to play this list, they could. I think that that would be that's way more reasonable to have it like that instead. Uh. And then uh, it can, it's easy because when you go duel and you click this, uh, the rank duels, right? It, w it should pop up the uh, standard details and stuff like that. But it could pop up yeah. which rank system you wanted to go into and everything like that is what they should do. Because that allows people to practice um, TCG or OCG and uh, or if they just want to only play Master Duel. Maybe they like the Master Duel format better and stuff like that. They can play that, and that gives us more options. Uh, one of the uh, things that, if we're speaking about the Forbidden Limited list and the card pool, it, it, which relates to the card pool, uh, we don't have all the cards. We don't have... Yeah. We're like four, three or four sets behind already, and it's kind of ridiculous that we're that far behind. Um, so, it it's very, like, and there's lots of cards that, like, there's decks that literally just aren't playable because the cards haven't come out yet. Like, we can't play yeah. uh, Sword Soul, Tenyi. Uh, no one's playing Tenyi, even though the cards are out, because Sword Soul isn't a thing right now, uh, because it's literally not on Master Duel, and that's why Drytron... And Eldritch are dominating, and same thing with Lyrilis Tri Brigade. Is Lyrilis Tri Brigade is a deck that is dominating in the TCG right now, or was until the latest ban list. <laughs> but oh, and we'll have to see how that shapes up, um, because they did hit that deck pretty hard. But uh, this, but you know, it's dominating on here, and it's gonna stay doing really well on here. Eldritch is going to stay doing really well on here because of they're allowed to play every floodgate under the sun. Um, As we're speaking, I'm actually facing that deck, mind you. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, but that's enough about the Forbidden Limited list. I think my last uh, point that I want to drive home about are the missions. 
And I, my honest opinion is that the missions don't give you enough gems. Because after you get your initial wave of gems um, that you get from making an account and uh, doing the solo... Uh, uh, the solo stuff, the dual strategy, and then completing all these and getting the 200 gems from each. Because you get 200 gems from each of these. Uh, you start running out of gems really fast. And yeah. and even if they want you to pay, you know, more money and stuff and sink money into the game, uh, I don't think it's unreasonable to have uh, to have the login rewards, which are 20 gems. That's a fifth of one pack to, uh, so that's what, yeah, that's one fifth of a pack. Keep that in mind for login. And then every, on the 10th of every, every 10th day, you get, um, after, yeah, on the 10th day, you get 50. In my honest opinion, every single, excuse me, every single, um, login should be 50, except for every 10, which should be 100. And I know you could, you could say I'm being greedy, but I don't think that that's really too much out of the realm of possibility, because that's not even, like, that much of an increase. Uh, this Spectate Dual Live um, I get that they want you to, like, hey, look, we have this dual life feature and stuff like that. But if they really wanted us to, for our daily missions, uh, do that, they should have the rewards be more than five gems. Because, in my honest opinion, there is nothing more frustrating than watching someone else play and then they just misplay and misplay and misplay. And that's usually what happens when I click dual live. Uh, yeah. And then so I'm like as the second one is dual twice in solo mode, and I have to dual twice in solo mode. And pro either with decks I can't stand, or just playing against the computer that you know take the a lot depending on what you do. It's either going to lock you out of the game, because if you play, like, against Monarchs, they can lock you out of your extra deck, or are going to take forever doing their combos and going to end on nothing, which is what the Megalith deck does on the AI. Yeah. So it's literally just a waste of time, and it only gives you 10 gems, which is why I haven't done it. Uh, there's another one that's, like, do ranked three times, uh, or duel and rank three times. And I'm pretty sure that one only gives you like 50 gems as well. So the rank the ranked rewards, uh or not the ranked rewards, the daily rewards are not very good. And I honestly think that they should bump them up more and make it like a more healthy, thriving economy. Because even if you want people to spend money on your game, it is a better business practice, in my opinion, to make it easier. And make the game just uh, more affordable for free to plays and everything like that, instead of it, you know, running dry and then them feeling like, oh hey, uh, my deck may not might not be good anymore and everything like that, or my deck isn't that good and stuff like that. And I used all my uh, gems on and wild cards and dismantling cards on. You know, I did it on the hand traps, but it's still not good enough because I tried to play a deck I like, and now I want to be competitive, and now I can't, and stuff like that. Instead, you make it so, hey, I like this game. You make the you try to make the game as good as possible, and then people will sink money into it. It's just a good. Yeah. It's just a common fact. It doesn't matter uh, as long as um, as long as the game is good, even if you think so people can play for free. People will spend money on the game, regardless, and they will still make a lot of money. And uh, one of my other games I play, which is called, which is Genshin Impact, that game you can easily do completely one hundred percent free to play and beat 
all the content in that game and stuff like that and be and do it pretty easily and that's not and that's not just because the game is pretty easy it's very free to play friendly but that game is like one of the highest uh it's like has like one of the highest sales numbers granted it's a gotcha game but part games are kind of like gotcha games and I, you know don't come for me <laughs> Oh, no, like they totally are card. The card games are gotcha. You're literally buying things to get a better thing. It, it, they're gotcha. Mm. It's literally just gotcha, but with cards. Yeah. Uh, but uh, their business model is pretty much, hey, we're gonna make it this game pretty free to uh, play friendly, um, and people will still spend money on the game, and they do. Uh, people spend tons and hundreds. People spend thousands and thousands of dollars on that game because it's a good game and it's people are just, you know, some people have that much disposable income. Some people, uh, like Twitch streamers, they can write it off as taxes and stuff like that. And that's what you can do um, in this game is make it free to play friendly, but rely on the fact that you're constantly updating the game and you're constantly adding stuff to the game. And uh, making it more enjoyable to play so that you can have the players that spent money on the game feel rewarded. And the people who are free to play uh, feel rewarded as well. And I know I'm saying all this stuff. And eventually we will get new content. Um, because we got event duels and stuff like that uh, eventually. It says coming soon if you click on the duel menu. So we will get new stuff eventually, but as of now, uh, the game is kind of dry, and all you can do is really grind up to platinum, and then once you hit plat one, um, there's literally nothing else to do. You might as well just stop playing for the season, unless you really, really enjoy the game. But that's my opinion. Yeah, uh, that's pretty much mine too, which is weird, because how did they make, like... Dual links of all things had a lot of content when it came out. It felt like, you know, and that thing was a cell phone game. Mm, the game still has a lot of content. But... Yeah, it had a lot of content to start, but my yeah, my opinion is pretty similar to yours. Like, I, I had nothing really to add to your ranting. Usually, I do, but I really can't defend very much of this. But anyway, I guess that's going to do it for this video. If it is your birthday today, happy birthday. Um, since no one really plays on Edo Pro, don't worry about the replays. If you want to send them to me, though, I'd still be happy to look over them and deck profiles for anyone who still plays that over Master Duel. Uh, and of you course... send Master Duel deck profiles. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know how you would do that, but to be honest... Screenshot, email it. Yeah, that's true. You can do that. Send it to jankyyugio at gmail.com. Uh, and of course, and as always, have a wonderful day.